All right, guys. Another video from the White Shorts Club. We got Myth. We got Wins. Hey, yo. We got Kaicho. Yo. Uh, so today we're going to talk about the Kaguya deck that Kaicho piloted that got the second place to at the AMA tournament that happened on March 5th. All right. Uh, starting off with our level zeros, uh, we got the best uh, level zero in the set. It's a 2k clean cut, and it's also a mill runner. It's basically what you want to see in your early game. Uh, usually you play this card as a uh, mill runner, because that's your way of getting an advantage to level 1. The clean cut there is nice, because this card is uh, it's also 2k, so you're not really clean cutting uh, much unless uh, you have a power pump. So you play 4 of this. Moving on, we play 3 copies of the Brainstormer. Uh, she's on play top check. You can uh, put it on top or mill it to the waiting room. And she's a Brainstorm tap self. For each climax you hit, you can uh, look at three and add a card. Basically, this card is there to uh, grab cards, uh, grab basically your events and anything and climaxes that you need. Uh, it's different. You don't play the uh, normal, like, just search for salvage brainstormer because uh, we want to just grab cards and stuff. And since our deck already, uh, spoiler, we're playing Shimakaze Kamo, we can basically grab any character that we need to grab. Uh, moving on, we play three drop searchers. I think everyone plays three uh, drop searcher, and then when you play climax, you can bounce her to give a character 2k. She uh, obviously resonates with lower level three, so you have to play a lot of her just to be consistent, even though she does bounce the hand. And she can also grab uh, your specific characters, so that's why you also play the check three. Also, we play this card. It's one of the better zeros uh, next to the, uh, the mill runner. It's basically a level zero bomb, and it's also a free runner. So I like to call it the running bomb. It's a pretty good early game card to open up these two. You just play six runners, and they can easily just trade with your opponent and give you a free advantage. And then next, you play two copies of the bonder to the one zero events. Uh, it's basically on play pitch character, and then you can search uh, the event from your deck. After that, we play two copies of the Ricky. Uh, your vanilla, vanilla on play clock yourself, search for a level 1 or lower character, and also she has on play top check. If it's a character, you can give one of your characters 2k. So it's basically the Cosme Bomb from uh, Multi Life, as you EM players know it, or uh, the TD. And then um, for the one ups, we play the one copy of the Climax Swapper, pay one picture Climax, salvage a Climax, and uh, she has on play top 2 rearrange. Good utility card to grab your Climax, and uh, uh, top check your next two triggers. Then we play one copy of the. Basically, she resonates with the event that this card bonds to. Uh, you can uh, resonate to search the level one climax combo or salvage the level one climax combo and give a K if you salvage. It's just there for you to grab your level one climax combo and just help grab more cards. Next, we're moving on. We play the stock swap that has twin drive. Just a good generic card. Stock swap's always good. Uh, as we see in the tier list, uh, stock swap bumps up your deck or your set's tier by like one. So oh, no, not just this. <laughs> start some controversial discussion in my channel. Oh, oh no. No. But uh, after that, we play this one copy of this. Uh, on play, you can pay one to swap a card from your hand with your level. It uh, lets you grab parts from your level. You can basically level up any card and then use this card to grab it later. It also helps you fix your experience condition, color, anything like that. And uh, she also has pay one sack herself a Kotsky, just a good utility card overall. And the last card we play is this card. Uh, this card on play, you can mill two. If you hit a climax, you can uh, pitch a card to salvage a character. It's basically your only salvage in this deck because everything's a search, you grab, there's not really much salvage. And our second effect is on play, you can pay one and you can uh, salvage the 2-2 two, two events or uh, the 3-1 events. And uh, yeah, that's it for level zeros. Uh, moving on to level ones. Uh, obviously, we play four copies of the combo, the level one Shimakaze combo. She gains 1k for each uh, Kaguya in the back row. Basically, your brainstorm is Kaguya's. Uh, your resonate uh, to grab her is also Kaguya. So, those cards are basically your back row targets to give her power. Unfortunately, the drop searcher, the bounce back to hand, isn't a Kaguya. So, if you leave in the back row, she does not gain power. But if you bounce her, she does gain 2k. So, she gains 2k and loses 1k. So, it's a 1k plus. And then next, we play three copies of the event. This is what the uh, 
the ones that are meant that bonds, the zero zero bonds to. Uh, this card is choose one of your characters, give it five hundred power and the following two effects. They have uh, pay one twin drive, and uh, at the end of the turn, if that card is in the front row, you can uh, stock a character from your waiting room. Uh, this card is really uh, really good because it's basically uh, similar to the toilet events in a bang dream, even though you get the stock later. It's not as good, but it still helps you generate stock, trade a card for stock. The twin drive is also really nice too for you to pay out climaxes mid battle, and uh, just so you can have the extra filtered through your deck and mill is an extra card. And then for level one's round out, we play the level one anti change counter. Not a lot of people play this card, but it's basically a, a counter where you pitch two to basically kill an opponent's uh, early play. You play it just to have it. Uh, the threat of having is better than playing it. I usually, uh, I usually never seen this card in my life uh, being played today, so it's just there to have it. And that rounds it up for uh, level ones. Moving up to level twos, we play two copies of the free fresh counter. So uh, this deck apparently uh, has a, a lot of stock. You generate a lot of stock because your combos are all free. And uh, you have the uh, one zero event that lets you uh, generate stock. So this card basically allows you to just trade that stock in for maybe a refresh, or you can use it as a counter. It's a lot used as a refresh. You play two because you want to see this card. And uh, it's there as your final outs just to grab it. And then the next one we see, we play the 2 2 event that I was talking about. It's This one also has the same name as the 3 1 event in the tr the main deck or the main set. But uh, we play the 2 2 event here because uh, it lets you. Uh, basically, what it does is when you play the event, you can check X and add two cards. X is equal to some of the characters on board. Uh, basically, like your normal early play, I'll play check X. This one uh, grabs two. You can bond to it. So it's basically like a character. It allows you to trade in your stock for your more cards, because that's what this deck has a lot of. Uh, running out of level twos, I play one copy of this Kaguya Slayer. She resonates also with the Brainstormer. That um, Climax Wages resonates to gain 6k, and when she kills a level two or higher card, uh, she gets the blind stock. Um, I played it just so I can have some kind of mid game. Uh, you resonate for 6k, so she doesn't need to hit a level three to uh to gain power so basically she can kill those uh two twos also she's 12 five it's also not too bad uh today i've never seen i never saw her so kind of unfortunate that rounds it up for uh level twos then level three combo playing three copy of the mikasa kaguya yes i'm playing two cop three copies i would not recommend playing three never play three card three cops of this card this card is just way too good to play at four uh, a lot of times you also level one of these cards uh, for experience, so you only have two copies to access, and it's a little sus to uh, grab it when you only have two copies. Next, we play two copies of the TD32 Kaguya. She's basically uh, on attack. You can pay one, pitch one, mill opponent's bottom three, but for amount of climax, it's your icy tail. And when she's in the front row, she gives global 15. Secondary finisher, maybe you need power to, uh, for Kaguya to reverse. Uh, just a second good card to have in the game. And then, beyond that, you play three copies of the early play healer. Four more condition, it is a very free heal. She's just a vanilla healer, and you have two more other characters. She gains 15, and uh, on attack, your opponent can't play events during this card's battle, so it's 10k. Uh, the event part doesn't usually work, or like, you don't really need it, because your opponents, if they're going to counter it, they would just play a normal card anti change counter. So, but the event is helpful sometimes when your opponent like money counters or uh, Fujimi has a 3 4 counter. That's an event. But yeah, she's just basically early play. You uh, sit around two to play this, and then by the time you get you three, you can play this. And then I play one copy of the Clock Kicker. Uh, he comes out early uh, with two or less climaxes, but that condition never usually is played. You don't really want to play him at two unless you like really need a hard remove any something but uh he also has on play he gains four five so he's 14 base and uh during this card's battle neither player play backup it's just a huge card that gets over your opponent's cards uh, also if you experience two or experience four on reverse you can pay two pitch one o'clock kick the card so it's also just there to get extra damage if you need to and hard remove 
anything. And for climaxes, we basically just play four copies of the book and uh, four copies of the wind. Or not the wind, the gate. And yeah. So is there <laughs> anything you'd change? Uh, personally, I bumped this to four. Because uh, I like playing for the, the Kaiju condition. Because uh, I just like having Clock Kick and it's like really hard to uh, get experience if you don't level. Because she's basically your level one blue experience and then you level this for red. You could level her and then level uh, like a level one combo so you can get four. Which is also possible, but you play that. Uh, other than that, I don't think this event is... Uh, it's not bad, but I personally don't like it. Uh... The bond reset is really nice though, because it's basically your only salvage. But at that point, I think I might just rather play a uh, play pitch climax salvage. Yeah. All right. Any closing thoughts? Any questions? Uh, yeah. Shout out to MA. Thanks for the uh, the tournament today. Shout out to why shout out to UCI and uh, especially Wednesday Carter for letting me try this build. <laughs> 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 all right and uh i guess we'll see you guys in the next one uh yeah. okay bye <laughs> <laughs>